What is going on Pokemon friends and Pokemon fans? Welcome back to Open TCGs and today I want you to join me in the celebration of the newest release product by Pokemon which happens to be this very box in front of you guys which is a Como OG Xbox. Now this box is very colorful. Uh, this is something I've been waiting for a while just because the promo card looks pretty cool here. We also get the oversized card in the back like we usually do and for once Pokemon is starting to kind of fix their pack distribution here for the most part just because we do have two burning shadows we do have a guardians rising but for some reason instead of giving us a sun and moon base set because we're opening up a gx box um they're actually giving us an evolutions um <laughs> okay i guess they're trying to get rid of the other uh, overstock of evolution products let's take a look at the back of the box here it says a shred spin ultra uppercut land the big hits with Kuma ogx and it's amazing Ultra Uppercut GX attack. The Pokemon GX delivers both Dragon type strength and full bore power. The Komoo GX box brings the full range of attacks on both a huge oversized card and a playable foil, foil promo card. So you'll have all the scaly, heavily armor punch of this Pokemon ready to send foes flying. And that is actually one of the reasons why I like this Pokemon is because it's such a bulky, you know, ar like like it's almost like armor plating you know kind of Pokemon so it looks really really cool to be honest with you and there are pretty much the contents of the box as I said before this box is just very very colorful very very cool looking I like it a lot but let's not talk about the box anymore let's just go ahead and open this up but before we do and before I forget actually um, I want to let you know that the winners of the last video for the code cards are going to be in the description box below and today's question of the day is going to be which one is your favorite Pokemon between uh, this box right here? Is it Tapu Fini or is it Marshadow? We'll just take the two front Pokemon right there, Marshadow, Tapu Fini. Let me know which one of these two is your favorite Pokemon and then I will just draw your name randomly and in the next video I'll be announcing the winners for this code card giveaway. All right, thank you so much and let's get going with the opening. So, this is actually pretty easy to open, which was kind of crazy, because for the most part, those boxes are, like, impossible to open. So, very cool looking um, contents here. Let's just put this down here on the table, and let's peel this up out of here. Hopefully, we don't mess up this promo, because I'd be really upset if I did. So, uh, you know what? Let me get it off the camera here to kind of do it nicely, because I don't want to destroy this promo looks really cool I'll give you guys a quick look at it as soon as I get it out uh, come on come on come on come on there we go okay so not too bad I think we did a pretty good job of pulling it out yeah not too bad actually not damaged at all so that's a first all right so here's what it looks like a Como OGX promo and that is really really cool 240 hit points um, and uh, Adam what is it called again adamantine press shred and upper uh, ultra uppercut there you go. So the Ultra Uppercut GX is crazy. 240 like damage. That is insane. For Shred, you need 4. That's a little expensive. 130. This attack da um, damage isn't affected by any effects. Blah, blah, blah. You know what to do. And then the first attack says, During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage. So as far as playability is concerned, I don't think it's really a playable card per se. Because, oh, there's a little bit of a dent in here. That's not good. It's all right. Um, but um, it still looks cool. It definitely will go on my collection. This happens to be, before I forget, this happens to be promo number 71. We're up to 71 Sun and Moon promos, which is kind of crazy. Um, I feel like Sun and Moon just came out and now we're up to like 71 promos. So we'll go ahead and stick this back with its little friends here in the back. Hopefully you guys appreciate the little figurines here in the back. I'm going to be switching them back and forth. Cernia is actually supposed to be back here, but we'll take them out. Anyway... Burning Shadows with Mars Shadow. Remember, if you guys want to win some code cards, let me know which one of these two is your favorite Pokemon. And we'll just put them aside here. We do have Evolutions here, which I don't know why. They just randomly gave us Evolutions. And uh, there is a code card, but I will take that for myself. I apologize. Don't you worry. I'll give you one code card at least today. And here is a Guardian's Rising. And let's take a look at this oversized card. Let's just get this garbage out of here. Perfect. And very cool. So a little size comparison there. Um, very cool. All right. 
my collection of oversized cards is getting pretty big so I'm going to have to start doing something about it pretty soon trying to see if I can come up with a sleeve design to maybe put them in the air in them all right so perfect so we'll do um, I guess oldest to newest we'll go evolutions guardians rising and uh, burning shadows last hopefully we can pull a cool full art Charizard out of this pack over here let me just give you this code card just because I don't want to not give you anything for this video thank you so much for watching but if you do want to win some more codes please comment down below and uh, yeah that's pretty much it here is a polywag diglet seal Nidoran, Ponyta, a secret rare. Here comes the Team Rocket. So, all right, I guess we'll, whatever. It doesn't really count as a secret rare for me, but we'll just leave it on the side. Magmar, wow, really? Two secret rares in one pack. That's kind of crazy. All right, so then, you know, maybe we should put him back here with the Mewtwo, okay? Um... That's kind of crazy. A Porygon Reverse Hollow, and that is actually a common. And the last card is a Mega Blastoise EX. Wow. So that was kind of a crazy pack, I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> um, cool. That's probably been one of my best evolution. Well, actually, other than pulling the full art Charizard, I think this is probably the second best pack I've ever opened. If you do count the secret rares, but there is a Mega Blastoise himself. That is really cool. I don't even know if I need this for my collection, but we'll figure it out at the end. So there you go. It doesn't really matter at this point because we do actually have a uh, ultra rare uh, being pulled out of here. So that's kind of cool. I usually have very bad luck when it comes to opening these boxes. So hopefully the luck will continue with Guardians Rising. Let's see if we can perhaps get a Tapu Lele, which, um, yeah, it's almost like a joke nowadays. All right, put the energy aside. Let's go ahead and do that real quick here and start with a wind pod. Matchup, Wilmer, Stuffle, Phantom, Field Blower, Gatharita, Energy Recycler, Snorunt, and that is a reverse hollow common, followed by an Oricorio regular rare. So, of course, nothing out of that one. We'll go ahead and do Marshadow first, and we'll end up with Tapu Fini. Hopefully, one of these two Burning Shadows will give us something that we need. It's almost like it's it's impossible to pull anything out of the Sun and Moon. Just period. Just starting from Sun and Moon base it all the way up to Burning Shadows. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like they're just, like, really bad to pull things out of. Let me know if, you, if that is the same thing you guys are thinking, or maybe that's something you guys believe. Um, it could be wrong. I could be, I could just have bad luck. There's Olivia. So two trainers back to back. Olivia and Kiawe. Right on. Hey, Alolan Vulpix, and that is a reverse hollow. Common. Five by the Alolan Radicate that's like very miscut, like off center. Okay. Anyway, that's a regular rare. Last pack here with a Burning Shadows Tapu Fini in the front. Um, so far, we've gotten one good pull, which is fine with me. Even if we just were to get one of them, that would be really, really good. Uh, as I said before, we I usually have really bad luck when it comes to these boxes. So for me to pull one ultra rare, I'm not complaining. All right, Wimpod again. Token to Maru. Krogunk. Pants here. Magikarp. Super Scoop Up, Plumeria, Seedra, Heatmore, that's a Reverse Hollow, uh, and that is a uh, common. Actually, that's a rare. No, that's, in, that's an uncommon. I apologize. And a Shenotic Regular Rare. So, wow, that's uh, pretty bad that we did not pull anything else out of this four packs. But again, the odds are pretty bad when it comes to Burning Shadows, Guardians Rising, and Sun and Moon. But if you really count this, I guess we have two secret rares, quote unquote, and a Mega Blast Toys EX, which is pretty good pull in my books. All right, so perfect. We do actually have another Kama OG Xbox that I picked up because it's such a cool looking card. So look, I'm sorry, looking box. Uh, but we will be, uh, be getting this open probably in a couple of days uh, from now, so we can uh, hold and see. Hopefully, we can get some good pulls out of the other one. All right. So perfect. All right. If you liked the video, please give me a like. If you did not like the video, give me a dislike and let me know how I can fix it and improve the things, right? 
As always, please subscribe and hit the notification bell because YouTube is broken. They don't like to tell you when I'm making these videos. And Crimson Innovation coming up around the corner. Uh, we will have some really cool videos slash giveaways going on. Okay, so as always, have a great day. And you've been listening and watching to Open TCGs. Talk to you later.